but against our better judgment, we have rented e-bikes for everybody to take out and go exploring. What do you think? Are they gonna wreck? Two and a half years ago, we spent a week cruising up the Irrawaddy River in Myanmar, and our eyes were open to the beauty of this relatively untouched country in Southeast Asia. While neighboring countries to the east have well-worn tourist paths that can at times be flooded with travelers, so many people. Myanmar has only been open to tourism since the early 1990s, and it sees a fraction of the visitors. <laughs> Traveling here, especially if you're willing to get outside the big city, gives you the opportunity to experience an authentic version of their traditional way of life and have unexpected interactions with curious locals who rarely see travelers. You have no rhythm. <laughs> Myanmar has become a very special place to us and we wanted to give other people the chance to experience this country as it is today before it gets more crowded. So we chartered the same boat we cruised on two years ago created a custom itinerary to suit our more adventurous travel style, and invited people to join us for a week of cruising up the Irrawaddy River. 36 crazy people said yes, and that's where this video begins. 6 a.m. We thought it'd be a good idea to get everybody up for a 40 kilometer bike ride to start the tour. Please don't hate us. What are we thinking? <laughs> One, One, two, two three, four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight. Even numbers over here. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, four. <laughs> hey y'all. Thirty-six. <laughs> Instead of taking a bus to the boat like the normal itinerary suggested, we decided it would be more fun to bike. All right, let the 30 kilometer bike ride begin. The ride was over bumpy dirt roads in 90 plus degree heat, and it was far from easy. Minglava. Minglava. but sweat-soaked clothes and sore butts were totally worth it. So good. Hello, Mr. Cow. I hope everybody else is enjoying this as much as I am. We rode through rural riverside villages and we were immersed in the local life for hours on end. We finally made it to our new floating home. We were reunited with our same crew from last year. And that night, we introduced them to all of our new friends. based on the number of people. Also, last night we bought everyone longies, so uh, everyone's looking very local. Or at least we're not offending anybody when we're going in religious sites. So we learned, we learned how to do this last night. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Thumbs up. Oh yeah, leg forward, fold, reverse, arms, twist, tie, and tuck. Nice. We'll see how long it stays up. <laughs> That's the true test. We tried to include as few buses as possible on this tour, but I think after yesterday's bike ride, everybody's okay with the bus for now. 
So this temple is probably my favorite in all of Bagan because of this Buddha statue behind me. It has an incredible optical illusion. If you're standing up close to it, he looks very unhappy with you, but the further back you get, the bigger his smile gets. So one of our favorite parts about this tour two years ago was the afternoon that we rented e-bikes and just drove through all the old temples in Bagan. There's something really special about getting out and exploring by yourself and not just following a guide. So that's what we wanted to build into the tour this afternoon. But we'll see how it goes. We probably should have learned our lesson from the Vespa tour. I felt like I was way too responsible for people's lives. Right hand forward, right hand forward. But against our better judgment, we have rented e-bikes for everybody to take out and go exploring. Okay. This is fun. Okay. Slowly you are hanging. <laughs> so, good luck everybody. Please come back with all of your limbs. I don't think the hospitals in Myanmar are the place that you want to be. What do you think? Are they going to wreck? <laughs> Have fun! Hold on. What do they say? Buckle up. Shut up. The, the, the Any final words? <laughs> uh, help. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a pro at this. Yeah, She'll be this. fine. She's good. Oh wait, I've got to turn it on for this. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Don't mess up for the camera. Hey, 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 hey. Bye. Get your model run. Woo! Uh, you'll, you'll be, we'll be fine. 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 What's that? Why is it beautiful? Looking good. Woo! Which way do you go? Go. He's gonna make sure they're okay. So great, I did. So much confidence in this group. Oh my yeah. gosh. Bye kid. All right, so far so good. We've sent everyone out on their e-bikes. We haven't heard about any wrecks yet, so now we're gonna go out and see what we can find. We found people. Oh, that was fast. How's it going, Story? Oh, hey. <laughs> you guys look, come from? Mingalaba. Mingalaba. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The good news is you hit a wire and not anything hard. I'm gonna drive from now on though. Turns out the first accident of the trip. Was me. <laughs> I put you in a bad situation. I'm still we like shaking. We were in shaking. like six inches of sand. And I was just enjoying the views, and then I got in this deep sand. I was trying to get out of it, and I ran straight into a fence. <laughs> no. I think this might have been a bad idea. This was very small. <laughs> well. Yeah. I was uh, just taking whichever turn looked the most adventurous and literally this little path just dead end, <laughs> dead ended into a cornfield. So, turning around on these narrow alleys. Oh <laughs> it's good that they're, we're returning these in the dark. Maybe they won't recognize what we did to them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is one of the top five sunsets we've ever seen. I hope everyone's had as much fun as we have today getting lost on these little dirt roads. Hopefully a little less running into fences than we did. Now we are heading back to the boat. Found it! <laughs> How was it? It was great. You did it! I love it! Yay! 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 <laughs> We are starting the day at the farmer's market. It is wild. So many people, so much produce, a lot of yelling. There is no method, right? So I buy everything I need in the market. I So 
So a lot of people on this trip are in Asia for the very first time and nothing makes me happier woo, than tripping over rocks. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people experiencing this local market. Like the sights and the smells and the sounds and the sweat. All of it. It's so much fun. It's one of my favorite parts of this part of the world. I like this one. Cheers. So we bought gift bags for everybody coming on the tour and this is the lovely lady who sold them to us. No matter how many we bought, she always wanted to sell us more. Yes, many, many. Many, many. <laughs> one more, one more. Yes. If you ever find yourself in Bagan, yeah, Bagan for many bags. Come here for many bags. Many, many bags. What else? Long Danica, Danica pants, 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 scarves, scarves, scarves shorts, shorts. anything else? <laughs> yeah. Finish? Yeah, finish. A <laughs> dollar and twenty. Oh, how much is this one? Naturally, our entire group is buying all the coffee that this store has. This group is making me proud. <laughs> have fun, guys! I'm squeezing in. We're really breaking people into Asia on this trip. We're about to stuff. How many people? Five people into a tuk-tuk and send them across town. Because why not? For Sharkies, 3,000. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. And they're off. Bye. Goodbye. We are such bad tour leaders. <laughs> we just encouraged everyone with only 45 minutes left until the boat leaves to get in tuk-tuks, go find gelato, and trust them to make it back to the boat. <laughs> I feel like people who do this for a living know that this kind of thing doesn't work out. But for us, we're like, yeah, you'll be fine. We do everything last minute. Perhaps releasing 38 people into the endless maze of the local market wasn't the smartest decision. So we just had a very stressful few minutes rounding everyone back up, but we made it. We got everyone moving on. Ouch! That was a hard one. See you later. 100% my favorite part of stopping in these local villages on the side of the river are the kids. We just pulled up and we're greeted by like a hundred adorable children just chilling on a huge stack of bamboo sticks. Like that's just their life. They just live so simply and they're so cute. <laughs> so this village makes the majority of their income from weaving these huge baskets and the process for it is incredible. It's super cool to see but it can also be a little weird coming off of like a luxury floating hotel into such a primitive village. But the cool thing is it's, it's beneficial for both parties. We get to come here and see a life so completely different from ours that it's almost unfathomable. And some of the money from the cruise ship goes to funding the school. All of the houses here are made of bamboo and the school is by far the nicest building in the town. You still can't help but feel a, a little weird and, and almost guilty but it's obvious that everybody's happy. We have just begun Karen Nate Travel Trivia. Let's see how this goes. Does anyone need to see that for a second time? Yeah. I'd just like to watch it again. One more time. How y'all feeling? Do you know? I do know this one. Oh yeah, we got this one. Oh, I know this one. Oh, we got this one? This one? Okay. This is probably the most challenging video. I showed it to Kara. And she got close, but it was a great country, and she was there. <laughs> the Shui girls were very confident and went all in and now have zero points. <laughs> they may have made this game a little too hard. The team formerly known as Team Six, who did not enjoy my game, they would rather play Scrabble, was in pretty much last place, chose to wager 
Zero. Zero, Zero points. <laughs> This is really special. We have accidentally timed our visit to this village on a day where some of the young boys are becoming monks and we're getting to see the entire process. It's unbelievable, like the traditions that they still have. Like we're just seeing this life-changing day for so many people in this village. I just can't believe we're getting to witness it all. It's beautiful. It started with an incredible parade. Then they all went off and had a big meal, and then we got to come back, we got to witness the head shaving. The giving of the robes. And now the final stage is, is memorized chants that they have to get right in order to go to the monastery. Everyone who lives here is at the monastery right now. And they all just smile at us. Like I don't feel like we're intruding at all. Like they're truly happy that we're getting to share this with them. Almost like if it was like one of the most special days of your life. If it's a ceremony, kind of like the bigger the crowd, the more special it is. And I feel like that's kind of what we're giving them. I mean, we're getting way more out of this. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. This morning we are in the town of Sagain and we are starting the day with a visit to a nunnery. back on the bikes this afternoon and going on a big fun bike ride through more of the countryside of Myanmar. And then we are ending at the most beautiful spot for the sunset. Mingaloba! <laughs> Taking the bikes across the river. Mingaloba! Mingaloba! and the machines are all going and there's just threads of silk going in every direction. It is mind blowing and mesmerizing. I could be here all day. Wow, it's hot in there. The fact that we were allowed inside that place is a huge health hazard. Like, you put your finger in the wrong place and it is gone.
We ended the night on local rowboats, watching the sunset behind the longest teakwood bridge in the world. It was truly magical. Somehow, it is already the last day of the trip. I feel like we just started, but at the same time, we have 36 best friends I feel like we've known forever. <laughs> but I'm gonna try not to think about that because we still have a big day ahead of us. We are currently inside the second largest bell in the world, and they're about to ring it. Should I my ears? Uh -huh. A real ring. Oh, harder. Oh, there it was. <laughs> so for our last excursion of the trip, we've come into the city of Mandalay. Our first stop was the pagoda that houses the holiest Buddha image in the entire country. And it's covered in six inches of gold leaf. That's literally tons of gold. And now we come here to the factory where they're pounding out the gold leaf by hand to gain a better appreciation for how that gold gets onto the Buddha image. Micah gave it his best try. After ending all four weeks of last year's Vespa tour with a karaoke night, it has become a tradition to end every trip we plan with a karaoke party. So we all dressed up in our longies and sang our hearts out until 3 a.m. Thank God. <laughs> Everything's good. You know, everyone's lit right now. It's getting out of hand quickly. <laughs> In case you couldn't already tell, we had an incredible week in Myanmar. The country has incredible natural beauty, rich history, and some of the friendliest locals we've met anywhere in the world. But those things aren't what made this trip one of our favorite weeks of the entire year. What really made this trip special was the people. The 36 crazy people who signed up for a trip planned by two YouTubers to one of the least visited countries in Southeast Asia. The time spent getting to know everyone and the new friendships that were built in just one short week are the things that we'll cherish from this trip. When traveling with a group, especially on a small boat, it's the people you're with who can really make or break a trip. 
And we couldn't have hoped for a better group than the electric mix of travelers from seven different countries. <laughs> Even though we were all strangers from different backgrounds on day one, a tight bond was built by the end of the trip through a shared passion for travel, a similar longing for adventure, and an open-minded approach to life. So our sincerest thank you to each and every one of you who traveled all the way to Myanmar to join us on this trip. You made it 10 times better than we could have ever dreamed. Also, we can't forget the incredible boat crew. They worked tirelessly behind the scenes to help us pull off this trip. So we'll end this sappy voiceover by saying a huge thank you to the friendliest and hardest working boat crew on the Irrawaddy River. I drove straight into a fence. <laughs> All the farmers were like, get out of here. That's why the kids are waiting like, for Karen, everybody Zana on the bridge. They need to go home and have dinner. <laughs> you bought all of their postcards. It was like 5,000 for all. So, the kids, they need like dinner. You know what we'll do? We'll send one for Aunt Z in Texas. We'll randomly slip them under everyone's door. <laughs> I know. You want to do bet? Do you like bet? I like bet. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. What's the name of the shop? No what that? No what that? Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mingaloba. Yeah. You like it? Oh, no. No, you want to do one? It's ready for the gram. She approves. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> you are beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> wow, fire! Steven's famous. <laughs> it's gonna go backwards. Video in case we lose it forever. <laughs> Woo! Work with Sarah. <laughs> you never know what she's recording. Act like I'm not here. Be natural. I love the sunsets. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Put that in slow motion, all right? Make me look good, let me look good. You know, I don't know how to work out. Don't embarrass me during the work out. <laughs> wow, this is epic. Chakwa, friends. I would like to say thank you very much. So every time, every day of vacation, I always say the one word. Myanmar is not just only famous for the pagoda, but also famous for the smile. Yeah. Let yeah. us smile. Yeah. So please bring our smile with you to your home. Thank you so much. <laughs>